In our last video, we had left the subcontinent as a land without any major city-states or predominant civilizations. About 3000 years ago, a major change began to take place in the northern, northwestern and central landscape of the Indian subcontinent which would eventually change the situation. This change was the establishment of Janpads or settlements in areas geographically located today at Purana Kila in Delhi, Hastinapur near Merat and Ataranji Kheda near Eta by Rajas. These Rajas or rulers were of a different kind than those of the earlier Vedic people. Not just the leaders or Rajas but even their kingdom had changed. The Rajas now ruled Janpad. The word Janpad is derived from the combination of two words Jana meaning people and Pada meaning foot. Thus, the Rajas now owned a major portion of people's tracts of land, all the land on which their subjects set their feet. During this period, this land and influence was acquired by the rulers in some very unique ways by performing very big sacrifices at public events. The Ashwamedh or horse sacrifice was one such ritual. In this ritual, a horse was released by a Raja to wander freely while it was guarded by his men. If the horse wandered into the territory of another Raja and it was stopped by the other Raja's men, then the two Raja's men had to fight each other to establish which Raja was superior. However, if the other Raja's men allowed the horse to pass through their territory, then it meant that they had accepted that the Raja who was performing the sacrifice was stronger than them. All the Rajas involved were then invited to a sacrifice which was performed by specially trained priests.